I want to share tonight um, that I've been holding on to because I wanted to share I wanted to share them with you in case you're interested in them I think they're super cool um, different kind of broadcast tonight because I am busy and um, so I'm going to very quickly Share some things with you all. The first one is we ordered, my family loves game nights. It's We do them quite often. And uh, there was a game that I saw on Facebook. And it's called Lyrically Correct. I'm actually going to have to tag them in the video as well. But what it is, is a card game. If you've ever played like, um, what's the one? Black Heart Revoked. It seems similar to that kind of flow where, you know, you've got cards and, you know, you have questions on the cards and you figure out the answers with your group. And what Lyrically Correct appears to be is from the from the from the ad that I saw it appears to be like a situation where you're guessing a song from whatever clue they give you on the card so you've got a box with ton of questions and it's gonna be interesting to see I'm just gonna grab a couple because we haven't played it yet so I'm just going to randomly grab a couple so you can kind of see what the other I share that with you. Um, Black owned company that, um, like I said, they've had a lot of ads on Facebook lately. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So they have a gospel edition. I'm going to definitely, if I like this, I'm definitely going to. Check out the gospel edition. This is the lyrically correct a music trivia game. This is the 90s and 2000s hip hop and RB edition. I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble because I don't know a lot of this, but we're gonna find out. Check it out. Okay, I don't know how anybody would know this, but maybe it's common knowledge, and I just don't know. At what age was Tupac kicked out on the streets? Is that like something from a song that maybe, I don't know. But the options are A, 17 years old, B is 14 years old, C is 13 years old, D is 16 years old. Do you have any idea? I don't, but the answer is A, 17 years old. Okay. This one I do know cause it's old. <laughs> from the game lyrically correct the question is in the song shoot what was Peppa's weakness right men okay all right so I think I kind of see what the flow is but they're not the the main thing that I came to talk about tonight but I'll let you know how much I enjoy the, the once we get a chance to actually play it as a family. We usually enjoy those kind of games. We uh, played one just this past week that was called uh, from when we were together for my aunt's 96th birthday. Um, we played a game that um, I can't remember the name of the game, but it involved um, you get a card that had some things on there um, and there were four things on the card and the assignment was the group had to kind of discuss of those four things one has to go 
And so it was really interesting. And so I enjoy family games like that. My family's funny and entertaining. So good evening, sis. My family's funny and entertaining. So we always enjoy, you know, those kind of games and getting the opportunity to kind of try to persuade people one way or the other, depending on your preference, making arguments and things like that. Uh, my family's funny like that. So we enjoyed that. But if you like it, um, if we like it, I'll, I'll come back and actually talk a lot more about it. But tonight, the star of the show, because as you can see, I have big hair tonight. The star of the show, because I need to uh, take care of my hair before I go to bed tonight, is um, products that I purchased from a company called Curl Mix. Now, I'm going to be honest and say um, I actually purchased it um, accidentally. So they asked to be tagged in unboxing videos. <laughs> and I didn't tag them, tag them, but I hashtagged them just in case um, things come out. I will tag, tag um, once I've actually used it and see how that goes. But um, it's a company called Curl Mix. And they make products for, you know, natural hair, uh, curly hair products. And from what I've seen in their ads, they specialize in coarse textures with real tightly curled hair. And for me, you know, my, my hair, I've got several, several kinds of hair. <laughs> I have areas of my hair that are really curly that you look at them and they curl. I've got areas of my hair like the front that literally, if you touch it, it starts to straighten out. And then the back, I think that's where my Nigerian lives. And so, yeah, that 48% that, uh, Nigerian is back here. And so, <laughs> and so I was really curious. I saw a video, a young lady did this, and she has kind of the situation that I have with my hair, which is different textures of hair throughout her head. And um, her results were interesting. I, I'm, I watched a few videos. Some people have really good results, some not so good. So we'll see. But um, I since because I need to wash my hair tonight, I decided I'd go ahead and do this unboxing tonight to get it out of the way. Now, I know that this boxing stuff is popular and it's you know biodegradable and all of that i hate this little confetti stuff because it gets everywhere but you know we gonna press on in jesus name um i love a product that educates you on who they are uh, referral friend, you get a free full size pure flaxseed gel. Flaxseed gel is good. I haven't met a flaxseed gel I didn't like. Um, I haven't made flaxseed gel on my own. That's something I do. Um, I've wanted to do, but you know, I'm not a do it yourselfer. I, I literally want to find it in a jar and buy it and bring it home. I'd rather not be in the kitchen playing uh, scientist. I'm not that person. Um, but if I can, if I find a good product, um, I like to talk about it and share it with people. But this one is Pro Mix, and so they've got a little pamphlet in here. I'm already a little bit intimidated because there's a lot of instructions, and I think it's good. It's called Curl Mix University. Now, I've seen their videos. They have some tutorials and stuff on how to best use their products and get the best results. And um, the way my attention span is set up, it's difficult for me uh, off the rip when I see a lot of instructions. I'm already like halfway out. But because I, I do believe it, from the videos that I saw, if you do use the products the way that they recommend, that's how you ultimately come out with the best product with the best results. And so um, I see that they have uh, instructions on how to use the cleansing products and they're not complicated. Saturate your hair with water, apply the shampoo to your hands, massage your scalp with your fingertips, don't scratch your head, massage it. Um, so it's pretty much um, what you get on the video. 
But what looks really helpful here, though, is like depending on the texture of your hair, they tell you uh, kind of if it's going to be beneficial. What's going on, Brother Demetrius? Um, they tell you whether or not it's going to be beneficial for you to like section your hair um, or just use it as is out of the bottle. So like for the shampoo, regardless of what your hair texture is, you don't have to break it down. For the conditioner, like depending on how tightly curled your hair is, you want to break it into either a whole bunch of sections or at least a few sections. Um, the moisturizer, if your hair is you know, coily or kinky, you're going to use two pumps of the moisturizer instead of one. Then the styler is a gel. So um, the directions look good. Um, they tell you how to dry your hair and all of that. And again, I've let y'all know, when I start seeing instructions, I already <laughs> get a little concerned because I'm the queen of the shortcut. And it's like, how can I make this work quickly? Because again, I don't have time. I was so busy studying tonight <clears throat> that I didn't have time to even prepare for something that I that I really wanted to do tonight. Not something I needed to do, but something I really wanted to do. And um, I didn't get a chance to do that. So when you hit me with a book of instructions off the rip, there might be a problem. We may not we may not be together very long, but we'll see because the results matter. Um, if if following all the directions make a difference, then I will. But I would I would rather shave my head than have to have a book of instructions on how to wash it. So, but I digress. I'm gonna be obedient for the sake of the process. So what I got was like the little smaller size not I think there's a travel size that might be a little smaller than what I have but this one is um this is step one which is like a shampoo it says it's clarifying which means it's going to clean all the other gunk and stuff that you put on your hair during the week to keep it moisturized out um aloe vera my hair does like aloe vera and now that I'm older, I like lavender, but I haven't always been a fan of lavender. Um, but we'll see uh, the directions on it. I already told you, they said put it on and massage your scalp with your fingertips and don't scratch it. So there's a shampoo in here, which is good. There's a hydrating conditioner in here. It says with ultra slip. I'm excited about ultra slip. Because ultra slip means that I shouldn't, whoa, I shouldn't uh, experience any issues with detangling my hair with it. And um, my hair is curly, but when water hits it, 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 it behaves weirdly. So, yeah, sis. And it's crazy because lavender is recommended like as an oil that will, is good for migraines. But I haven't always gotten along very well with um, with lavender. I just didn't. It was always like an old lady sent to me. But as I've gotten older, um, you see that they're they're um, they are having some situations. A lot of products now. Yeah, it may be an allergy as well. So here's the deal put this conditioner in and it's stretching my hair out which is good um but i'm just leave my grace jones afro alone um ooh, there's another piece of paper right here what is this okay okay so yeah this is the sample size it's pretty Big amount of stuff. It's like 30 bucks, which isn't bad for four products. Because uh, one of the biggest things going right now is uh, these natural hair products. Everybody's got a line. Even Madam C.J. Walker. Speaking of Black History Month, 
Madam C.J. Walker's family um, has created a line of products that's out now. Um, I'm not a I'm not a snob where that kind of stuff is concerned where everything's got to be of the same line because one, some of the stuff is way more expensive than it needs to be. Um, you're paying for packaging and labels because lately I've been seeing the companies where you can literally try this product out and put your label on it. You don't even have to make it yourself. So I think that's part of the reason that we're seeing so many companies coming out with these products is the product is, is already made. It doesn't matter what company you get it from, but you're going to pay more if there's a celebrity name on it versus if I put my name on it. But I don't think that's the case with this product. I believe the reason when I saw this, the reason I decided to keep the order, even though this wasn't the company I was looking for, was it's a small black owned company. Um, and so I just I, I went on ahead and decided to go ahead and support. And your girl was out of stuff. So it's what you get when you don't. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so let's see. Yeah, it ended up being free. Sh the shipping ended up being free. Um, yeah, they're in Chicago, actually 325 North Point. So yeah, they're not far from my mom's. So, okay, home girl, I see you. But it's a, a lady and her husband, um, I believe are the ones who do the company. So I love family businesses. Um, if I was married, I would try to find something for us to sell, I think. I think we could create and build. All right. The third step is a moisturizer. Um, it's got organic jojoba oil. And so I don't get confused. It tells me on the bottle that it's step three. And so it would appear uh, cleanse and condition. And then you're going to detangle in section during the conditioning phase. Step two on soaking wet hair in a steamy shower, apply a nickel sized amount, a nickel sized amount. See how big my head is? Okay. They talking big, big game. Okay. Okay, to a section. All right, there we go. That ma that makes better sense. What to say, <laughs> girl? All right. Step three. Uh, then apply a nickel-sized amount of the flexi gel. Wait. Reading is fundamental, and as you can see, I've already gotten confused because I don't see a flexi gel but it tells me there's a flaxseed gel. But I'm supposed to apply a nickel-sized amount of the pure avocado moisturizer to each section. Okay, it's step three, but the directions for step three are in step two. I didn't know I was going to have to do math and geometry. Look, I just want to wash my hair. <laughs> but here we go. Okay. Step four, as promised, is this pure flaxy gel. Okay. It looks just like all the other products, which is weird. Everything, like the shampoo looks like that. And the hydrating conditioner looks like the same. Well, there the shampoo is a little got that little pearl consistency that you see in shampoo. But this moisturizer and this gel look like the same thing. I'm just saying. But that again, that's just me. So um hopefully the next time you all see me, I won't be looking like I'm on my way. To uh, a Grace Jones concert, um, to stand in for Grace. Hello, um, I'm going to put my little shrivels here. I'm going to put them away, and I'm not going to hold those shrivels against them because, again, responsible 
biodegradable. We're trying to keep our carbon footprint down. Um, so I'm not mad at them. And something that does not always happen is even without that little paper cap on the top, these products came to me with no spills, no stains, because I've ordered some things. We won't talk about them today. But I have ordered some things in the past from some small companies, and you get them, and everything is juiced up because it's spilled. So we got everything. Um, nothing spilled. Nothing was jacked up. So we're going to try these tonight. And um, the next time we're on, uh, I'll tag the company and let them know how things went. Um, hopefully it goes well because I don't have time to be wasting my time or my money. Because so, I mean, I'm I'm a good steward, so we're not gonna do all of that. The other thing is um, trying to make some healthier decisions, healthier choices with life, and support it. Supporting a friend and also investigating a business opportunity with a company by the name of Melaleuca, which I have come to know means tea tree, tea tree oil or something like that. And um, a sister of mine from church introduced me to these products and they are from everything that I looked at. What I did was I just ordered stuff that I already ordered. And what I found was their prices were cheaper than some of the things that I was buying. But again, for some things, cheaper doesn't matter if it's not as good. Yeah, really? Okay, cool. Um, hopefully it is um, good because if it's good, then it's worth it because the products were, were cheaper than uh, what I would have paid for them at the store. Um, and so, again, reading material, and it's late. I've been reading all evening. I am exhausted with using my eyeballs, but what they got here? Information for alarm.com. I'll be checking that out. Uh, some ideas about what information about some of the products that they have. Um, I'll be looking at that. Um, a welcome to the family from Frank Vandersloot with Melaleuca, the wellness company. I'm delighted, delighted to learn that you've enrolled as a new member of the Melaleuca family. Welcome. We've been hoping that you would join us. Really? Frank, the same round thing about me. Hilarious. You are in good company. Last month, just like you, over 100,000 other families around the world made the decision to become Melaleuca monthly shoppers. Like you, they come to us because they want to live healthier, longer, more vibrant lives, and they want a cleaner, safer environment. They want their homes to be free of dangerous toxins. They want clean air, clean streams, clean oceans, and clean conscience. The letter is pretty long. Frank is very happy that um, we've joined the company because... This letter is really long, but he gets into telling us about the company being located in rural Idaho, Idaho Falls, uh, over 400 wellness products. When we say wellness products, we don't just mean nutrition, products for your skin, all those things. And so um, as I've gotten older, I'm more sensitive to a lot of things that uh, used to just kind of bounce off of me. Um, but there's stuff that I uh, now that I used to use that I cannot use uh, changes in my skin, changes in my hair, all of those things. So um, this looks like a pretty good catalog of things about their beauty line. Say Bella. Oh, superior wellness products. Um, and this is the stuff that I actually came to them for was the vitamins and supplements. And they're one of the companies that will like prepare your supplements and packages so that you're not having to do what I currently do, which is I have a pill keeper and I keep all of my supplements that I take kind of lying out in there. But they have these they have different packages that you can put together that um, will have them already laid out for you. Um 
and they had a probiotic that I wanted to check out. And again, the prices were good enough that I was extremely uh, curious because, you know, buying supplements and all of those things and trying to live your best healthy, you know, uh, good, good, uh, good immune system life can get expensive. So and here, okay, packing materials. They sent the little plastic, plastic fluffs that don't pop. So anyhow, all right, a lot <laughs> of packaging stuff. Oh. All right, product one is a Solugar Botanical Convenience Wipes. They are combined thyme oil and citric acid to safely wipe away the dirt and grime in your home. They contain no chlorine bleach or quaternary disinfectants and leave no harmful residue. Some people love cleaning with bleach. I don't like the smell of bleach. And sometimes it can be irritating to my skin. And then, um, you know, our house is a little bit of an older house. So we have a lot of ceramic and porcelain stuff that seems to, you know, sometimes suffer from staining using some of the products with bleach in them, weirdly enough. So I was interested in trying these. We go through a lot of wipes. And um, when because I'm not a germaphobe i'm a, i just like clean so <laughs> um but i like this bag uh because it looks like something i can slide into my big bag that i tote with me to uh work into church and everywhere else so that i can um keep things you know things that i'm gonna be touching i want them clean um these are not antibiotic or antiseptic type wipes but it does appear that they are good for cleaning. Um, what do we have in here? Time oil. Something else they told me. Anywho. 30 of those. So, yeah, bleach damages those surfaces. And it, it's just been strange. Um, like either here at this house, but also like at my aunt's house, some of the older sinks and things like the the finish is coming off of the 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 tub and all those different things from using those bleach products so i'm curious to see what will happen now for people who really know me know me one of the things you know i love is a good bottle cup glass or whatever and there's a protein powder that they have and it comes with this mixer up, which is a good thing but the reason I love it is that it also has the little ball in there that keeps all your little powder from crouching in the corner um, <laughs> and helps you get a better consistency um, with your protein drinks now the protein we got here I'm actually going to give to my son because I am very sensitive lactose intolerant if you will and this does have milk in it uh, which bothers me but my son is perfectly fine um but let me find out this isn't and then you know what i promised him he would have he won't have because but no it just says that it's gluten free does anybody else get irritated by people them telling you that something is gluten free that shouldn't have any gluten in it anyway um, it's just obnoxious to me, but it's like, you want credit for something that like, I don't care that my, my milk is gluten free. I, I don't, I don't care that, that, that there's just some things I don't care that you're gluten free because what did you do something special to remove the gluten? Of course you didn't. Um, there wasn't any in you anyway, but. I digress. That's just me being crazy. Um, let's see. How much protein do you need daily? It's easy to calculate. Multiply your weight in pounds by the amount in grams that most 
closely fits your age and lifestyle. So already they're in my business. Add two scoops of Vitality Elevate Protein Powder to eight fluid ounces of water in a shaker bottle or blender. Shake, blend, or stir until smooth. So, yeah, two scoops at a time. This is going to last uh, forever. But, yeah, whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, micellar, cassian protein, vitality, elevate, promotes faster muscle recovery, greater muscle growth as you work towards your goals. Whey protein isolate, micellar casein, whey protein concentrate, Dutch cocoa, natural and artificial flavors, soy, xanthan gum, and sucralose as the sweetener contains milk and soy. Yeah, um, I actually have a really good, um, there's a good plant, there's a good lactose-free one that I found, and there's a good plant-based one that I found, and so... Um, the young lady who got me signed up told me that, you know, she could get this switched out for me, but my son right now is more aggressively, uh, exercising than I am. So I'm just going to slide this to him to save down on the issues because returning means I got to go somewhere and send it back. And I, I ain't got time for that. I don't have time. So the protein elevate along with the mixer bottle looks pretty good. Um, uh, Oh, my God. Okay. Well, hello. I was trying to flip the box. So they sent me another. Uh, there's another thing of the whites, which that one will be in the upstairs bathroom. I know they're not flushable, so please don't nobody come at me for that. Uh, beef fuel, raspberry lemonade, caffeine-free dietary supplement, serving sizes, one bottle. So this looks like those, um, think energy, improve your performance with Mel Lucas beef fuel powered to by six proven V vitamins. It gives you the boost you need. Oh, okay. No sugar, no calories, no artificial colors or flavors, no sugar crash. Drink one bottle a day for energy. Use or discard 72 hours after opening. Yeah, that sounds like something Brady will end up with as well because um, mm -mm, I'm good. I took a five-hour, Not a, is that what that is? The little five-hour energy things. And they warn you <laughs> on that packaging that Hey, in a little bit, you're going to get a niacin rush, but don't worry. <laughs> Anytime you have to warn me, don't worry. I probably shouldn't have taken you anyway, but I was struggling that day. I had a presentation that I needed to do and um, I had a presentation that I needed to do and I hadn't had any sleep. Um, I think I had done a, an overnighter either from Chicago or um, northern where my son was going to school. And so um, I needed I, I needed it. And I took it. And I remember maybe about 30 minutes after I took it, all of a sudden feeling like I was in a hurry, even though I wasn't doing, even though I wasn't going anywhere and wasn't doing anything. I was sitting still. But it felt like all of a sudden I was just in a hurry. And I started sweating and I'm like, am I having a, I'm like, what is going on? And then I realized, oh yeah, they told you that was going to happen. Hold on. We got a bot here that I need to put in timeout. Um, I don't block folks because uh, uh, keep my algorithm going. I'm good. At um, but um, after I had that rush, I was like, I will never, <laughs> ever, ever try this bad boy again. And so that's what this looks like. So I'm assuming that's what it is. So, yeah, I'm good. No, I have found the best way to have energy is to go to sleep and have a good night's sleep. Like, I'm going to get off of here soon. 
rest well and get up when you're supposed to it really is amazing how well that works so that's what i'm gonna do uh one of the things that i went out of my way to get was um this bath oil because again getting older changes in your skin you got to find ways to get moisture in from the outside drinking your water I haven't had any water. Been on here a half hour and I had no water yet. Look at that. Working on some dehydration. But um, you do what you need to do to get it inside. Get water, you know, get that water inside. And I haven't been doing my water videos lately. And for uh, transparency, it's because I haven't been drinking my water the way that I need to. Um, so um I'm about to, I, I need to get back on uh, my focus with my water. And, uh, but this is Renew Intensive Skin Therapy Bath Oil. It has, hmm, lanolin, melaleuca oil, which is the tea tree oil, squalane. Now, I don't know what squalane is, so let me find out what squalane is, because I may not be putting this on my skin if I don't know what squalane is. L-A-N-E. What is squalane oil? Later. Squalane, according to WebMD, squalane is a moisturizing ingredient used in some skincare products like anti-aging cream and the whatnot. It is a lipid produced naturally by your own skin cells, but the amount of squalane your body produces declines with age. See, I was a scientist. And y'all don't even know it. I told you, getting all changes on your skin. Same thing the doctors have said. But it's a natural antioxidant. Helps keep your skin supple, youthful looking, and hydrated. Hello. But as we age, the natural production tends to decline. And so, okay, so, all right, just making sure it's not something squeezed out of a gland of some, you know, weird animal or something, okay, because, you know, we can do some stuff, but, okay, all right, does it have a smell? I don't know, because they put this little paper here. It smells like the tea tree oil that's in it. So we'll keep that closed so that it doesn't spill for external use only. Well, that's good because I had I didn't want to drink it. I'm going to squeeze the desired amount into your bath water. Okay. That one I'll definitely be using. Florify daily probiotic. Do, 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 do. Take one capsule daily with food. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's so many things they want you to take five pills. Of. I'm not taking five of nothing. I don't care. But this just says take one capsule daily with food. Um, 10 billion active cultures, seven diverse probiotic strains. Maintain a healthy digestive system while supporting overall health. Replenish the natural balance of good flora in your digestive tract. Uh, protect against occasional digestive upsets while improving the absorption of nutrients consumed in food and nutritional supplements. Yes. So one of the things that becomes an issue is you may be taking uh, supplements, eating the right foods, but the balance is out of whack in your digestive tract. And so you're slowly, you're, the absorption isn't, 
the absorption of the nutrients that you need to get out of the out of whatever it is you're taking can be slowed by the conditions in your bowel tract. And so a probiotic is very good because it just makes sure that the stuff that's in your gut is healthy. So there's daily probiotic there. And one of the things that was included in the package that I bought was a collagen Helps preserve joints and maintain cartilage. Again, I'm a woman of a certain age. And so there's certain things that I have to be concerned about that others don't. One of those is my joints. Um, (laughs) Funnily enough, I just, funnily, is that a word? Weirdly enough, oddly enough, speaking of age and joints, I just, (laughs) it's so funny. Uh, Speaking of age and joints, I just saw um, a a video (laughs) of one of my favorite performers from my uh, younger days, uh, Mr. Bobby Brown, and Bobby was in the middle of a decision. He had to either sing this song or finish this dance, and at some point, Bobby stops dancing and just starts walking, and I think he made the right decision. Um for his life (laughs) in that moment. And so Bobby probably needs some of this advanced type two collagen for those joints. Cause um, yeah, us as may reduce activity induced swelling. So that's going to be good for um, after walking after, you know, for helping recover from exercising and things like that. This is again, take one tablet a day. That's what I'm talking about. These are my people because um, my doctor started me on a vitamin regimen that literally there's two tablets, but they're as big as my head. And I'm just not, I'm I'm not there. I'm not there. Um, This is the Vitality Multivitamin for those of us who are 50 plus. This is a take two. I can I can do take two. I can do take two. Two is not bad. Organically bound for maximum absorption and antioxidant protection. Supports energy and overall health. This is the longevity 50 plus 60 tablets. So that's a 30 day supply. Scientifically proven. Supplement facts under here are, and I've taken the senior vitamins for a long time. Uh, Long before I turned 50, I started taking the senior vitamins just because they have more, (laughs) they have a a greater variety of things in them. Um, Let's see, vitamin A, C, D, E, thymine, riboflavin, niacin, D6, folate, Uh, 2,000% of the daily recommended B12. So that's where all that energy is coming in. Biotin, pantothenic acid, calcium, iodine, uh, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, manganese, chromium, molybdenum, and sodium. Uh, But there's just like one little percent, one little tick of sodium. And boron. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, and these are, please, Lord, let them be a coated tablet or a capsule, because I cannot take those dusty pills. Do you all have, have those dusty pills? They're horrible, and I can't take them. They give me heartburn. Okay, these are very well sealed. Mm. God. Yeah, Centrum was a little, um, I think, rich for my system. Yeah, they are. They're coated, little coated pills, so a couple of those a day. And they look big, but they're really not. I mean, like, my fingernail is bigger than them. Um, I don't have anything that I can use for you to see. Oh, you know what? I can compare them to an Altoid. 
ingenuity. Okay, so size of an Altoid, size of the vitamin. So they're a little bit bigger than an Altoid, but not a whole lot. So yeah, that'll be good. And I got a free Altoid in this situation. Look at that. Mm. Little drink mixes. And what I like about them is they do not have the, um, what's the stuff that's in equal? I hate the taste of aspartame. I hate it. And so these are not sweetened with aspartame. They are sweetened with manna from heaven. Sucralose. Sucralose I can handle. But it's the little, you know, the little things you put in your water. They're to help with hydration, endurance, and they are low calorie. So you're not adding a lot of calories to your day. Have a nose. Ultra performance protein bars. If I was, if I had not eaten and it wasn't as late as it is, I would try them and tell you what they taste like. Um, I'm sure at some point, but it's a box of them. Okay. Chocolate and peanut butter. And then the last product is the Access Exercise Bars with patented technology. It turns fat into fuel. Then I should be able to run them out. But, um, but I'm pumped. <laughs> But it's just another um, something to good fuel before my walks and trips to the gym. So anything that's going to give a good start, a good jump start to the, the things that I'm trying to accomplish, I'm here for it. And if it's not, you know, extremely expensive, I'm down to try, especially if it supports on the cause of a friend um, a lot of packaging material but as the days go on i will be sharing with you all how i feel my life is being improved or damaged <laughs> by these little goodies and if there's something good to share you know i will and not just because there's a referral friend bonus but because I believe in sharing the good that I know. I believe in preaching the gospel. I also believe in preaching all good news. And if there's something that's going to be beneficial for you and your family and I find out about it, I definitely am going to share it. So right now, I am off for the great adventure. To <coughs> This Altoid is fighting me, man. Yes, I am so looking forward to warmer weather. I cannot wait. I'm, I'm super, super, super geeked for summer. Just because winter has been so blah and boring and, you know, family going through grief and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually looking forward to some new beginnings, new starts of some things, you know. But I am off to uh, go minister wellness to my hair and i will um talk to you all sometime this week i am sure no doubt i will be chatting with you all um to fill you in on whether or not these products were beneficial for my hair that i'll be able to tell you quickly the others the vitamins the supplements um all the other stuff I think you need about 30 days to really see how it works in your system before you say yay or nay that is working. I love like my mom. She will she will like take something and like after she takes the first 
you know, tablet, drink, swig, whatever. She's like, oh my God, it changed my life. <laughs> Did I tell you she was dramatic? But anyhow, um, I will um, share with you how this stuff with my hair goes because I got to get to it quick because it's late. But I will talk to you all later. Thank you all for hanging in here with me. Um, not very exciting, but I wanted to come on and share that share that stuff with you all so that I can get these boxes out of my living room and um, fulfill some of the commitments that I had to, to uh, do some unboxing videos for some things. Um, I am going to rest well. Brother Demetrius, rest well, my bro. Um, I don't know how much you got uh, an opportunity to watch of that Sanctified and Bold, um, but it really triggered me, and I really do want to have some conversation real soon about it. Uh, so uh, check your calendar for one of these nights real soon. I'm going to watch it again and um, pull together some talking points and some questions, and um, we'll get together and talk about it because it touched on a very, very, I think, some very, very good questions that it asked um we got an opportunity in group the other night to watch um this play called stage play called sanctified the sanctified in the bowl and it was um kind of a uh you could tell inspired by tyler perry type situation but the um the play was about um a small black church and a small white church that uh joined their efforts and uh, come together. And you see some of the challenges, you know, that they dealt with. There was, you know, some comedy, some singing, all of those things that kind of let you know it, it, it's it's of that ilk um, of things, uh, sort of like the Tyler Perry type stuff. But they really did get, there was a moment where they got really good and deep in, into some of the concerns that you have, where you're trying to combine, you know, where people of different races are trying to work together. And I think they do. A, they did a pretty decent job of, of showing there's issues on both sides of the race issue when it comes to us having racial harmony in the church. Um, if nowhere, we should be able to get to it there. Um, and the world should be able to look to the church as an example of how to handle it. But if you look at the church right now, you look at the modern church right now, it's as racially divided as anywhere else. And I, I understand that people worship with people who look like them, uh, who who like similar styles of worship and that kind of thing. I, so I understand that. I don't trip off the fact that there are churches where there's mostly black people and churches where there's mostly white people. I don't think that's a problem. The problem is the focus in those churches can pretty much be dictated. You can pretty much figure out the kinds of things that those ministries are concerned about just based on looking at the people that go to the church. And I think that's a problem. Uh, the fact that the, you know, churches that clearly identify as evangelical churches, even though we should all be evangelical and that our primary focus is spreading the gospel, um, evangelizing, doing the work um, that Christ gave us to do, um, to go into all the nations and, and teach the people, baptizing them, um, introducing them to the gospel, introducing them and exposing them to good Christianity, good doctrine. We're supposed to be doing that. So we, technically we should all be evangelical minded, but there is a movement in the body uh, called the evangelical church and it has become extremely political. It, it's, it's more of a political movement even than a denomination or, you know, religious designation. And, um, but that they, there's a, there's a, a nationalism that has grown in that, a patriotism that's become very important and interconnected with the gospel. And I think that's dangerous. But by the same token, in the black community, we're starting to see um, you know, a continual increase in upsurge in, you know, movements like the Black Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelite movement, um, all of those different things. And so we got gangs on all sides of this war. And I think it's important for us to do to uh, be careful about. But also it was really there was a there was a, a moment in the movie where 
you as blacks we also have to realize that there is some frustration some anger uh potentially some bitterness that has us acting a certain way um that isn't necessarily helpful either in getting to racial harmony so um you know, it, it's it, they did a good job of starting the conversation. And so now I think it's up to those of us who really are concerned and really are hearing, you know, the, the cry in the spirit for change, uh, for that to change again. I, there's no problem with black people go to church with black people, white people go to church with white people. I live in a neighborhood that's probably 100 percent black. I don't think that's a problem. But if life is different because I'm in a black community, because I'm in a black church, if what I'm being preached and talked to and what 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 I believe, you know, the Lord is concerned about changes depending on the racial makeup of my church, that's a problem because racism is a sin. Prejudice is 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 not wise. Um, And I think we all have some of them. So um, I want to watch it again, take it in uh, one more time and um, dig into some of the questions then online um, that the play opens up for us. So, but that'll be for a later day. Again, I got to go wash my hair. So I will talk to you all later. Have a peaceful night. Love you all. Good night.